here preface this this little bullshit that Dustin did is that basically basically what happened was that was that Justin grabbed my camera and videotaped me and the thing is that well one of my land my landlord basically gave me a uh, whole can I mean, got Joshua's can of of a nacho cheese that someone gave him a while back but they didn't like it or they knew it they, they made a mistake they didn't want it and so they gave it to him and it sat on a shelf for a while so then he gave it to me well you know nacho cheese is really good shit you know and that and you can throw not that it's an age that stadium cheese you can buy you can buy it in fucking gallons you know well, I had that nacho cheese. I was eating it on everything. Eggs, you know, steak, everything. You just take a spoonful of it out of the you know, refrigerator, slop it on stuff. Well, you know, Justin basically caught me out in the field there, you know, playing around with the dogs and stuff with his cheese. So. <laughs> Thing. This nacho cheese is so damn good that you can like slap coats of uh, this stuff is so fucking strong that it'll, it'll stay forever, you know. But yeah, that's what it is. You want to tell you some funny? I'm gonna tell you a little funny story about nacho cheese. There's this brand. I don't know if you guys got it in your grocery store called uh, Ricardo, Rick Liberto. I guess this guy. I met this dude. He's the owner of the uh, Rico Cheese. You might see it in it's called Age Cheddar Rico Cheese. And he was telling me, he sits on the Blue Star board, you know, met this guy. When we did that Nacho Volcano deal, and here's a little reference to it. Cheese Volcano here this month. It erupted at a reception tonight at UTSA Satellite Space downtown. The event showcased artwork from three... When we did the little, the Nacho Volcano deal. He wanted to, you know, we, Jimmy talked to the guy and said, Hey, we need some free cheese. And the guy gave us like 10, you know, fucking humongous gallons of this shit. And so, what we did was, we ended up making this nacho volcano back in like 96 or so. I did, it was my idea. I always wanted to make a nacho volcano. But he was telling me something, I always tell people about this, this type of food, you know. And it's good food, I'm not, you know. He's, the dude told me, he says, you know, we produce it here in San Antonio, Rico, Rico H. Cheddar. But we export a shitload of it, more than the American consumes it. To which country buys aged that nacho cheese? He told me, Rick Liberto, this dude, said that Saudi Arabia buys more of that nacho cheese than you wouldn't believe. They think it's a goddamn delicacy. They throw it on everything, you know? And you think about it, it's like cream, you know, it's something that probably isn't totally a foreign taste to them, you know? Cheddar and, or just sort of cheddar cheese. But, you know, it's a good cheese. I, you know. But the brand, this is not Rico cheese, it's something else. Uh, as I'm sitting here in my, in my Redford studio, I'm going to be here for a while, for at least a year. Or at least until I hit 165 pounds. I weigh about two, according to my scales, I about 217. So the barometer for me leaving is 165. 
I got a way to go, folks. And I'm figuring out I'm, I'm losing about a pound a week. It's attributed to the fact that I'm not sleeping. I'm eating nothing but getting rid of all the breads. I don't eat that much. It's hot as shit here. You sweat all the time. So I am losing weight, but you can't get rid of beer. It's only this is my only survival drug. And we'll have good coffee, of course. But you know, beer, good coffee. If you have a good music system, which I do not have here, so I gotta get a fucking good music system here. And you know, studio, my studio production will fucking fly in action. And this is this is episode one of my uh, the Redford kitchen table art. So I'm gonna keep you abreast on some of the fabulous projects I'm working on. You know, like my hangman, hangman news. You know, and this thing should have been done tonight, but she's fucking hot and shit. This will be a really good piece here, you know. But when it's done, you know, I'll, by next week, you'll see the complete version of this. And you know what the fuck I'm talking about. And I'm a serious fucking son of a bitch, and I know what I'm doing. And this is this is really about life. You know, it's about life, death, the devil, who you are, and how you might be fucked by all of it. Okay.